This is the, the old, new, I guess we'll say, Rode Wireless Go. Uh, it's already boxed up and ready to be shipped back. I had an issue. I, I, I just ordered this. I've only had it, um, oh, I don't know, since the uh, beginning of July, I suppose. So I've only used it once. I used it in the fireworks video out at uh, Disney. But uh, when I fired it up, when I, when, I, when I powered everything up, it paired okay. The problem I had was with the receiver unit. And if you see the receiver unit here, how it's got the green bar, that's the audio level that's coming in, that's being transmitted from the uh, transmitter that you wear. In other words, from this unit. So as this unit's picking up audio, it transmits to this one. And then it gives you this green bar here that indicates whether the audio is clipping or, or not, it's overmodulated or not. It didn't uh, didn't show that on mine. Oh well, on this one. Let's see if I can power this one up. I'll show you what I mean. Anyway, while this is powering up, I uh, contacted Rode and I said, "Hey, look, I've got this issue, and it's not working." So as you see, this is the microphone side tapping on it, that should have a green bar on there, and it doesn't. So I contacted Rode, I said, hey, this thing's not working quite right, not sure if it's me, or if the unit's defective, you know, what should I do? And uh, took a few days, maybe a little longer than I would ex have expected to get back to me, but uh, they, they did, and the amount of time that it took to get back to me, it really wasn't egregious, but uh, they more than made up for it, I think. Not only did they replace the unit, um, it really didn't give me any instructions about sending this back. I, I'm going to do the right thing and try to send it back to them. Uh, I would be just fine keeping it too. It'd be kind of nice to have it. It works fine. You know, it, there's no issue with it other than I just can't see what my audio is doing. But they also sent got a road cap, nice hat. I don't really do the flat brim thing, but uh, I can probably modify that all right and uh, I heart road microphone sticker that's pretty cool man and it's all free to charge so I mean that's you know that uh, that's the little things in customer service that really make a difference so um, I, unfortunately I can't remember the gentleman's first name that I was contacting back and forth with at road but uh, thank you sir I really appreciate it uh, it's much appreciated that you guys would go through the effort to send this stuff to me like this so I'll box this up, I'll reach out to you and see where you want me to send it to you, and uh, I'll get this in the mail either tomorrow or the next day. So, In any case, as far as the new one goes, I'll see if I can take this off the uh, camera here and I'll show you. So let me shut the camera down for a second and uh, get this thing off of here so you can see what the audio is doing. Okay, so I, I'm still, obviously I'm talking into the, the transmitter unit. You can see the green bar going across. That's what this other one's supposed to do, but it doesn't do that. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know why. I don't know what the issue was. It got good audio. Uh, in the fireworks video, I, I, when I edited it, I didn't have to do a whole lot as far as editing the firework sounds, which was pretty impressive. So um, I don't know. But anyway, I appreciate it. Works good. And hopefully this will help out with some audio for video in the future. So. Let me put this back on here. So there you have it. That's um, it's not really a review. I just kind of wanted to go over the customer service with Rode and what I thought, how they handled it. Um, I've heard good and bad things about Rode on the internet. And I can tell you, as far as the reviews for the last few different things, the washing machine was one. Uh, I've read some bad reviews about these these uh, um, microphones. I've read bad reviews about other things that Rode has. Uh, each person, you know, the Ford, Dodge, Chevy, whatever you like, you know, it's up to you. I'm not here to sway your decision one way or the other. But as far as customer service, it's hard to find a company these days that, that goes through the effort that what Road did here. I, I, I appreciate it. Um, the hat, the sticker, I mean, some places, you know, they'll throw a sticker in the box if you're lucky. Um, you buy a $5,000 Apple computer and you get an Apple sticker. So. You know, that's still nice. I mean, that's that's something, but, you know, free of charge, send this all out to me. So, I don't know. I 
not real sure about sending it back, you know, what they want me to do there, but I'm going to box this up and I'm going to reach out to him and uh, see what they want me to do. Um, certainly going to send it back if they if they want it. So, um, in any case, I'll do a better review on this when I've used it a little bit. So far, for the first time, I've got no problems. I've heard some complaints about plugging the microphone. I think you can actually plug a, a wired mic into this, a lavalier mic, and put this thing down on your belt or something, and uh, and, ha and have another a smaller microphone that's a little easier to hide than having this big transmitter here on your shirt. For me, I wear collared pocket shirts most of the time anyway when I'm out and about, so I don't think that um, that's really going to be an issue for me. But what I've heard some of the complaints are is that uh, you plug a microphone, the external microphone, into this, and then when you unplug it, it doesn't switch back the audio back to the onboard microphone. It's just it thinks that there's still a microphone plugged in, but there's not, so you don't get any audio. I've actually had. Uh, a couple of older iPhones, you know, when you have to plug in the dongle to plug in the, the microphone or whatever. I've actually had some of those do the same thing. Um, I don't know exactly how I fixed it. I think a hard restart or maybe cleaning out that port with a Q-tip or something, you know, the connection just wasn't switching over like it's supposed to. It's not saying that's the same problem between Apple and Rode microphone. But uh, if I do that and I experience an issue, I'll certainly let you know. But uh, so far, so good. They, I think it works good. It did, it's did. it got a dB adjustment on the, is it this one? The, or the transmitter, I think. The transmitter has a dB adjustment. There's three settings. There's low, medium, and high. It's probably, if it compares to the older lavalier style, the, the um, wired mic that, that I've got with Rode, I think it was like negative 10, 0, and then plus 10 or plus 20. I don't know. I'd have to look at it. But um, anyway, I'll keep you up to date on how this thing works. So far, so good. Thank you, Road. I appreciate it. And um, stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching.